Think about some of the coolest designed things. Cell phones, rocket ships. When we look at them, we find layer upon layer of complexity. Things specifically designed to carry out a task. Millions of lines of code or engineering in order to do what they do. The more we understand about how these apps or spaceships work, the more impressed we can be at the sheer amount of information needed to create all these parts and get them working together to perform a function. Even if we had never seen a rocket ship before, we would know that it was designed by someone. As complex as all of these things are, they pale in comparison to this. The single cell bacterium. And that pales in comparison to your handsome or beautiful self. Look at you, so amazing. Why are you and this little bacterium so amazing? Glad you asked. Running your cell phone and these spaceships are thousands of lines of code, as well as the hardware that makes them do their thing. Inside of you, and this little bacterium, is the same thing, but more advanced. There is a digital code being interpreted or read by computer-like information processing hardware happening inside of you. A world of factories upon factories, building micro-molecular machines that cause your hair to grow, make blood, muscles, energy production, waste disposal, manufacturing new miniature robots, programmed to make you do the things that let you live. A tiny little metropolis, and what's running all of it is... information. But what is information? The reduction of uncertainty. That's not super helpful, I get it. Imagine you had a dog that was asleep. Oh, what a good boy. But shh, he's sleeping. You don't know what he might want. You're uncertain. He's not providing much information. But if he woke up and started barking at the door, maybe he wants to go outside. Maybe it's the UPS guy. He's eliminating some uncertainty. But if he stood up and said, It is Tuesday. I would like to eat some tacos. That'd be a lot of information. Language is very good at communicating information. Another way to think about it is this. Information is a message or instructions with meaning. Inside of you is just such a language and heaps of information, not just in your brain, but in every cell of your body. Each cell has a gooey core called the nucleus. Inside the nucleus are chromosomes, tiny little spools that hold wound up pieces of your DNA. Inside your DNA is your genome, which contains your genes, segments of DNA. Those contain the information needed to make proteins, the machinery of life. Really important, by the way. <music> DNA contains coded instructions and programmed commands that are read, interpreted, and carried out automatically by the cellular machinery in your body, just like computer code. With software, the instructions come in the form of letters and punctuation that are arranged to encode computer commands. In DNA, the instructions come in the form of the nucleotide bases, A, T, C, and G, that are arranged to encode biological commands, amino acids and other instructions as well. There are programmed instructions in DNA just like in computer code and software. Some of the world's smartest, most eggiest of eggheads agree that DNA is like a computer program but far, far more advanced than any software ever created. The machine code of the genes is uncannily computer-like. DNA is something like the hard drive on your computer containing programming. Life is a DNA software system containing digital information or digital code. From Bill Gates to Richard Dawkins, Francis Collins and Craig Venter, they all agree DNA is a code. This is absolutely amazing because we know that digital computer code and software systems don't write themselves. Advanced programmed technology only comes from one source, intelligence. Of course, some people claim that the DNA code is an exception. They say it could have developed without intelligence. Random mutations or errors 
could somehow add up over time and create the software code that runs life. Well, think about any software you know. Is a random change going to improve things? Or will it tend to break things? If you change computer code, sometimes even the slightest change, it'll break. <laughs> change DNA and, sorry to say it, you don't get superpowers. You'll get cancers or other horrific diseases or even death. Random changes are about as likely to produce functional software code or DNA code as random typing will make an intelligible novel or paragraph or even a single sentence. Whoa. Mutations and errors break DNA. Fortunately for us, our DNA code is more advanced than regular old computer code. It has special features designed right into it to automatically minimize potentially dangerous mutations. Remember the DNA code works because of how the nucleotide bases are ordered. How they're arranged determines the things that they make. And they're read by cellular machinery, not one at a time, but three at a time in a group called a codon. Some codons will build one of the 20 different amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. Other codons act as signals to start or stop the process of reading a gene. It's a very finely tuned process with multiple redundant safeguards because one amino acid can be coded by multiple different similar codons. This brilliantly minimizes the detrimental effects of mutations on the DNA code. Sort of like how some words still mean the same thing even if a single letter is different, like color, or gray, or advisor. Basically, the British spell words wrong all the time, but we still know what they mean, usually. In English, only a few words are like this, but with DNA, it's like this for every combination of letters. In other words, the genetic code is specifically set up to minimize the effects of mutations. Like one of those toys you can't knock over, the genetic code is designed to be quite hard to keep down. Here's how it works. Say you need some of the amino acid building block leucine in your life. Your DNA could code for that with a codon CTA. But what if a little error snuck in? A little rogue particle knocked your DNA around, changing it to CTT. Oh no, surely now you're gonna know. Oh no, that still makes leucine. You're totally fine. Well, what if another radioactive particle came in, smacked your DNA around some more and changed it to CTC or CTG or even TTG? No worries, bud. Like I said, your DNA is exquisitely designed to resist mutations that change the amino acid. Even mutating TTG further to TTA would still make leucine your body would still be happily humming along, subscribing to this YouTube channel, liking this video, even with all of that nonsense happening inside of you. Information and code are running the show in biology. Your body is amazing. But would you believe it if I told you it gets even more amazing than that? Good, good, because it does. We're only scratching the surface of how impressive, how packed with information your genetic code is. For each codon, set of three letters, there isn't just one way for it to be decoded. There are six possible ways. And organisms like viruses and even bacteria can make use of all six open reading frames. The genes actually overlap one another, not only incredible amounts of information, but information compression. This doesn't happen by chance. Maybe you've heard of palindromes, words that have the same spelling forward and backward, like race car, tenant, kayak. It's a neat trick, but not quite information compression. You're not packing more information into the same amount of space, it's just redundant information. But what if you had words that spelled one thing forward and a different thing backwards? A hetero palindrome. That would be special. These words do exist and they are very rare. It's even more rare to have an intelligible sentence using heteropalindromes. Let's try to make one. It is highly unlikely to evolve an overlapping gene by chance. You end up with gibberish. This problem is actually quite similar to biology. Just as the vast majority of random combinations of letters will not give you a meaningful sentence, and even fewer will give you a working sentence forward and backwards, 
When trying to build something in biology, like a typical enzyme, the vast majority of possible combinations of DNA letters won't work, even reading them forward. If you had the additional requirement of needing to be read not just backwards, but multiple different ways, let's just say the odds don't get any better. This heteropalindromic information in DNA is an astonishing form of information compression that strongly suggests intelligent design. Researchers have shown that the genetic code doesn't just allow this kind of information compression, but it's actually optimized to allow overlapping genes to exist. We have a universe of language, digital code inside of our bodies that is read and processed through complex nanomachines. These work together in a beautiful choreography of mind-boggling complexity to create even more machines. Where in your experience do things like language, proofreading, nanomachines, and information-rich code come from? You know the answer. They have only one known cause, intelligence. Books have authors, machines have inventors, code as coders. Therefore, if we want to understand biology, our own bodies, how and why diseases work, if we want to advance science, we need to view it from a standpoint of intelligent design. Scientists who saw DNA as a product of intelligent design predicted many of these things, new layers of information in our DNA, particularly where other models failed but more on that in the next video. Thanks for watching.